Hello, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to more Fortnite news and updates. As of this morning, guys, of course, patch 6.3 did go live, and then the main update of it, of course, that being Dynamite into the game, has now been disabled within 50 minutes of it going live. Although, thanks to Dakotas, all the guys out there for the clips, I will link them down below for all of you. It did not seem too OP. From what little we've seen so far, it only came in stacks of threes. Its throw distance was actually shorter than grenades, um, although you could spam it because it actually had a pretty frequent spawn rate. I can see the rarity actually being increased of this in the future if it does stay in the game. I'm sure many of you guys are very aware we've seen many pro streamers out there, many pro players in general, and the community feedback so far about this. We have a lot of fixes in this game, and certainly another explode was, was definitely not needed. But again, I don't think it was actually unbalanced. I think it was probably a fairly decent weapon so far. Will it need changes in the future if it actually stays in the game? For sure. But we have more important updates for all of you. If it does stay, this adds to the community backlash out there, and it really just it, it, mass, it mainly asks the general question, is Fortnite slash Epic, are they really trying to tune to one of two audiences? Are they trying to attune to the pro scene, the competitive scene, or the casual scene? And I think we all know the answer to be casual players as of right now. With all these updates so far, we have seen just in the past month and a half, first of all, remo removing bounce pads, mobility there, then of course the, the harsh feedback of that, that loss of mobility. They then kind of rushed through glider redeploy, then almost halfway changed glider redeploy to appease back to the casual fans, and I guess pro fans, pro players as well. Um, everyone across the board kind of liked that mobility once it especially was gone. Uh, I think there's still a big rift there between whether we want glider redeploy or whether we don't, and if there's a solution, I really don't know. That's a, a definitely a tough uh, cookie to crack there. On top of that, though, then on top of that, we also had the mounted turret. It had a double nerf for that, both in health as well as, uh, unfortunately enough, its, it's spawn rate was it's still apparently too high. We've seen so many clips out there of this weapon, why it's in the game, it seems to attune just to the casual player, right? It's a very fun thing to do if you are like me, kind of just a casual player out there. I don't know how it affects the pro scene at all and if it will stay in the game itself. A lot of backlash for that. And now, of course, our very last update did bring Dynamite. We have seen a string, a slew of very, very poor updates from Epic, and it seems like they bend their knees so easily. Once we complain about one thing, they change another thing. Once we When we complain about that thing, they change that thing or they vault that thing. And then they release these updates out of nowhere like Dynamite, which are certainly just not needed. There are many other fixes out there, but the one saving grace of this, guys, we had two huge announcements. The first of one, it has now been confirmed for patch update 6.31. We will see, as I predicted, let me let me throw you guys a quick clip. As our last video, guys, such an easy prediction when it comes to Epic, because they bend their knees so easily, 6.31 will have this. Pickaxe damage is now doubled uh, to 20 damage, so uh, pickaxes do do more damage than uh, most shotguns in the game currently. And I, I really do want to predict one thing here, guys. If, if Epic is going to continue on this, this trend, if there's one thing we can actually prove, um, let's, let's try and prove a theory here, guys. I think Epic, uh, when there's any slight disconcern or dislike of an update, they will eventually change it no matter what. I'm going to say the next big update will be a huge shotgun buff. And I don't think that's a crazy thing to say. I think that's what's up next. So apparently a pump shotgun rebalance and pretty much a huge buff will be coming, allegedly going to actually buff the close range damage, which seems to be maybe a bit OP. Of course, we won't know until it actually goes live in the game, but it does say allegedly, of course, according to those tweets out there, what we've heard so far, it will be minimum damage actually increased from one pellet to three pellets. So all those sevens and eights will now become 21s and 24s, which again, seems to be pretty OP. But again, until it plays out, we're not going to know. Maybe reduce that by a pellet or so. Will that also fix the, the overall problem that people still complain about the delayed timer for that pump shotgun that was obviously the problem and here is again epic actually trying to approach the problem with a brand new solution we've seen it work sometimes in the past but then again you really can't blame them all in all i want to say we're moving in the i would say in the right direction where we're at right now and kind of a plateau for fortnite especially in terms of community feedback out there the one thing i will never never actually trash epic for is because they do one thing any other game out there does not do they listen to the community they listen to pro players and they pump out updates like no other game out there, and they do a great job of doing that, but with that becomes uh, the weekly bad feedback. If you're gonna do several updates that are poorly received by the community in just a few weeks, you're gonna receive a lot more feedback, a lot more frequent feedback, because your community now expects a lot better of you. Now, a big update, though, I think is gonna be a great addition to the game. That will be, guys, online qualifiers, as well as now online tournament for Winter Royale. It's gonna be Europe, as well as North America, having separate online tournaments and qualifiers, so please, 
geez, bring on the cheaters. I, I hope their anti-cheat is up to up to up to par because coming from the CSGO scene, online qualifiers are atrocious. But this is still big news because it's just it's so coincidental. I, I really <laughs> Epic does a great job when it comes to a few things out there, or many things out there. This being one of them, it was actually Nate Hill who took to Twitter. We talked about this last episode about people complaining to him about up and comers and unknown players have no chance to actually make money or come on the scene. And then literally two days or three days later, it's Epic announcing online qualifiers, online tournaments open to everybody. So how it's going to work guys, $1 million prize pool for the European finals, as well as the North American finals. There will be online qualifiers, although notable players will actually receive direct invites to the finals, which I definitely agree with. Everyone still has their fair chance to actually qualify as well. Qualifiers will start in just four days time. The European finals are actually happening here in less than two weeks. And the North American finals are actually two weeks after that. So quite some time after that, uh, North American players have quite a bit more time to actually prepare themselves. It's going to be a great thing because along with this, kind of a underwritten there, people maybe didn't catch this, a huge announcement for sometime soon, it's going to be a Fortnite World Cup. If you guys follow the Overwatch scene, they have their World Cup series apart from their main stage play. If you guys follow CSGO, they also have this thing called WESG, where they have players of all one nationality playing and competing in their kind of World Cup. Um, I guess you could compare it to other esports out there as well, but this is going to be a huge thing. Overwatch is a great job of doing this. It will be a Fortnite World Cup. How they will run this out though, will it be, you know, squads of all, all single nationalities? Will it be duos? of nationalities? Will it have nothing to do with, you know, worlds whatsoever? Will it be solos? We do not know that, but for sure it's going to be happening in the future. And that's a huge announcement, guys. First of all, online qualifiers, online tournaments, all of you guys can actually have a chance to qualify. Of course, it can be highly competitive with the millions of players out there, but nonetheless, many games out there don't give you the chance. And very, very last, guys, a Fortnite World Cup is on the horizon. I cannot wait for more details. And of course, when we get those details, I will share them with all of you. But as always, guys, I ask you the question, how, how, how are you doing today? <laughs> another, another question questionable Fortnite update hopefully will be fixed soon and along with that expect 6.31 to bring some big updates and I think we are finally heading in the right direction but as always my name is Jake I will see you all hopefully back here tomorrow or sometime next with more Fortnite news and drama and as always hope you guys all enjoy I'll see you then